Red Sox who come in here a game over 500 at the bottom of the American League East. And Keaty, the 27 year old from Mazalan, Mexico. Fouled away. And Jose Arquiti quick. He's at first base. Christian Vasquez is behind the plate. Alex Bregman at third. Swing and a miss and a three pitch strikeout to get this game. Higher than Justin, but how about some of the peripherals? The whip is under his. The batting average against coming in this game at 165. Lighter to Tommy Pham. No balls and one strike. That one misses. It's one and one. Six of their last nine really struggled to score here lately. Pitching's been good. Here's the shot up the middle and Mauricio Dubon. You step and he'll slow things down with that curveball. Both great batting averages against those pitches in the last eight games. This man, Rafael Devers, coming off the injured list. He drove him in both Red Sox runs in a 2-1 victory over the Beating at the top of the zone. It's a ball and two strike. He has been fantastic in the zone and using that mix nicely. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 20-game winner against in his career. Here's Xander Bogarts to lead it off here in the second inning. Bogarts. 313, fourth in the American League with that average. Good start night in and night out. Eight consecutive, as Julia said, eight consecutive quality starts. In the first 12 starts, a swing and a miss. Strikes out Bogarts. That's been on changeups. The so first 12 starts is the ERA was. Showed you the whip, well under 1, 081. In there for a strike, says Jim Wolf, but it's one ball and one strike. One and two. Boston Red Sox team, having played with them the last couple of years. So far early on, working well with Hope. Took an 0 for last night. And just misses inside. Over in that deal, but from one dugout, one clubhouse to the other, there's popped up on the infield. Bregman over. I go to help this team, this ball club, to win another World Series. I would think he and Trey Mancini, they've, well, Vasquez a little bit more understated. Mancini, how much he loves being here. This is a franchise, and I think these guys don't know it. They play, what, seven, nearly 80? It's on that 2018 team yep. for the Boston Red Sox when they won their World Series a year after the Astros did. So that's where you get some of that veteran experience. We heard James Click talking about Vasquezum and Trey Mancini, who is chomping at the bit to have some postseason experience. And he's in the right spot for, of his baseball career. He wants more of it. Massage in that outside corner. with Devers being the designated hitter. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Hit on the ground. Mancini with his first try as an Astro. Closer because his name was swirling around in those trade rumors. He pitched really well against the Mariners that night. Just the four hits scattered over from Houston. He said yes. He said what they asked. Was that on your mind? He said yes, very much so. He wanted to stay in Houston. Just need relax. Get back to pitching, guys. They stay away from Jose Altuve. At least <laughs> stay away his, from Altuve. His, 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 trying to talk me into him being traded after the trade deadline had already passed. He tried to come up to me during the game and say, hey, Rikidi, he's gone. No, <laughs> leave him alone. That's how much fun they have. That's awesome. Boy who cried wolf over there at second base. Well, he punched out Bobby Dahlbeck to start this third inning, and there's a high fly ball. Off with two outs here in the third. In for strike one. 8-6 ERA, and that ERA seems like it's gone down with each and every start over the last month and a half. Push himself a little bit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Fifth. I'll admit it. I totally messed that up. I, I, think, that he, was, I think he did, too. I think that that was getting out in the third. That route he took is not going to go on Tom Amansky's video. <laughs> so you're all right. Uh, my call's not going to go on any... Maybe it, maybe it hit the roof and bounced down. Well, I'm going to go with wonder. that story. All <laughs> well, two strikes to Jaron Duran. 
That one hit the left, couple of steps over for Aledmez Diaz. He'll make the play. 2019, the Astros no hit the Seattle Mariners. A couple of acquisitions, and they end up getting in there for a combined no hitter right here at Minute Maid Park against the Seattle Mariners. It was a rough season for the Mariners. Relatively new when you think about it by comparison since 1962. Those 14 no hitters. No. Astros leading it 4 0. This is upstairs. It's 1 0. They made his return off the injured list with a shoulder injury. So we're going to miss. It's 1 and 1. First inning, pretty good at bat for Keedy against him in this at bat. Sixth strikeout of the game as he gets Devers looking. Go to the bottom of the fourth, 4-0. Four Keedy has struck out six through the first four innings. One ball and one strike. It's strike two, one and two. Well, the Astros have scored a. On the ground for Pena, a couple of hops. There's one away. Works ahead. Rikidi, this will just be his 54th pitch of the game. One ball and two strikes. Sets the tempo of a hitter and can keep him off balance. Set up the next one. 2-2 two -two pitch. They did, coming back inside tight. Verdugo did a good job of fighting off that pitch. Two and two. Oh. 13 straight retired to start this game for Jose Urquidy. Now Verdugo. It's one and one. Good afternoon crowd here today at Minute Maid Park. Think. Two two pitch. Tapper back to the mound. Urquidy will have to bobble it. He'll have to get it all back. Was caught looking. His first at bat back in the third inning. Take strike one. In Kansas City is the Red Sox will leave here. And we think he's going to play a lot at first base. That ball hit to left. And let Miss Diaz. It always happened, but very nice of him to, to just reach out to everyone who's been around in the last couple of years. And then he talked about just how classy the old so successful is because of the camaraderie that they have here. So he said, thankful to be a part of this team. Now he is headed to a good team. In the Enjoy it while it's happening. That's the first base hit of the day for the Boston Red. So five no hit innings for Arkady. He'll work for the stretch from the second time today. 0 for 1. He struck out back in the third inning. Arkady retired the first. No balls and two strikes to Yalmer Sanchez, the number nine hitter in the lineup. All of those categories, the Astros are tops in the AL. There's a weak swing and strike three. Five innings. It's going to make that number better. He's really done a good job of working that zone with Jim Wolf behind home plate. No runs, one hit.
tuned. We'll tell you who that Astro is, powered by Reliant. Tommy Pham's 0 for 2, and Pham hits this one to right, and that'll make the seats. Here, Garcia with a good start in the opener of this series. Got that corner that hurts. Not at all. That's a base hit into the gap. Turning for second. Here's second at bat between Devers and Urquidy. Another good effort with fastballs up with strikeouts in this ball game against him. A big spot right here. Just in the sense that he wants to maintain that shutout game that he's got going. For the Red Sox, he's at third base. Tommy Pham with a double. He's at second. Devers just got a piece of that one. Able to foul it back into the net. It almost feels a depth. One ball at two strikes. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two on. Two outs and a swing and a miss, and he got him. Big Jose Urquidy who has allowed just two hits through six innings as he works here in the seventh. Tucker on, and one pitch, one out in the seventh. Get up nine strikeouts. Alex Verdugo batting here with one out in the seventh inning. Ali, who passed away last night at the age of 94, is reminded of a story. A man named Larry Mitt, high school together. They talked about one having a dream of being a broadcaster in the big leagues, the other wanting to play in the big league at the mic. That's pretty good. And Scully called 20 no hitters in his career. <laughs> How about that? Of some of the greats and broadcasters included, but he remembers being a young kid listening to Vin. Eight, nine years old, he said, and growing up. There's Christian Arroyo. And the thing about when Vince, when, when the Dodgers went, and so he taught an entire, basically, not only just a state, but an era. That iconic voice, and I think, you know, just looking at, at social media and how many people have pictures with. And he ended it with, if you don't call me Vin, we'll never speak again. And I uh, just thought, just a, a regular, Vin Scully was that man in baseball. He worked NFL games, PGA Tour. <laughs> Looked at him sideways, I had to let you know. Talking about Billy Chapel In the top of the seventh inning, Christian Arroyo on the ground. Couple of hops for Bregman. And a good.